About 40 years ago, NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration, would launch rockets, and most of the time, instead of hitting the moon, uh, they'd hit Amarillo, Texas or something. Um, I mean, stuff, you know, would explode and parts would fall off, and, um, and NASA realized that what they had was a reliability problem, not just that parts would break, but when people said stuff was ready to be put on a spacecraft, ready really had a kind of flexible definition. There wasn't even a common definition of what flight-ready hardware and software meant for spacecraft or even the rockets. And for NASA, you know, like getting it wrong wasn't like you, you know, like went home and didn't have pizza that night. It meant like there was 10 years worth of work. And so what they came up with was something called the technology readiness level, a thermometer, literally a visual metric with some simple words. So every program through every subcontractor could have a common definition for what's admittedly an incredibly complex set of data. It was a formal way to assess project maturity and quantify relative risks, and it was data-driven. It was adopted first by NASA, then the entire Department of Defense, then the FAA, then the European Space Agency, and the technology readiness level is kind of used for mission-critical projects to have a common language. And it says something like this. You know, your project's at level one and two if you're doing basic technology research, uh, you're at level three and four because you've now proven feasibility. Levels five and six, you could demo a prototype. Levels seven, eight, and nine, you're ready to deploy this thing. Level nine, you're ready to put it on a spacecraft. Now, what does this have to do with a lean startup? Well, the question is, remember all that data we got in Launchpad Central? For the first time, we're now capable of coming up with a common language to describe the readiness level for early stage ventures. Not only startups in the field, but even more importantly, startups incubators inside of large companies. How do you convince a existing business unit with a common language that, no, no, this startup, this new project really is at a level that's worth integrating into your BU or spin out or fund? And so what we thought is, why don't we take that data from Launchpad Central and come up with our own version of the thermometer we call the investment readiness level. So we think we could do the same for new ventures with, an with emphasis on data and evidence. And the investment readiness level is just like the NASA one. It's a formal way to quantify relative risks. It's data-driven. And the analog is to the NASA DOD technology readiness level. And again, here's a sample, a generalized case because you can, in fact, define these levels any way you want. But here's the generalized case. Levels one and two is, uh, do we have hypotheses? Did we create all the hypotheses on the business model canvas? Do we have the value proposition detailed? Have we, in fact, discovered our problems and solution fit? Do we have a low fidelity minimum viable product? Have we validated product market fit? Is the right side of the business model canvas validated? Um, have we validated the left side? And do we actually have investable metrics that matter? Now, again, this is a generalized case. As I said, inside your company or accelerator or incubator or inside specific industries, you could tune these numbers.